Hi everyone, this is Lovisa Altar from the YouTube channel Ascension with Lovisa. Yay, I've got a new name. So this is a celebration video. Uh, celebrating this new name, Ascension with Lovisa, which is also the name of my newly started company. And also celebrating that uh, a lot of new people found my channel this week. So welcome here. And that's thanks to the shout out by my dear friend and teacher, who I can also call a colleague now, Tim Wilde. So thank you, Tim. And thanks everyone for for coming and checking this channel out. Uh, yeah, uh, today is the 26th of February, 2021. And uh, it's taken me a while to, uh, to find this new name for my, for my business and for this channel. And uh, when it finally comes, it just seems so obvious, like how come I didn't think of this before? And I think that's how it goes with a lot of things uh, on this journey of awakening to your true self, your true mission. Uh, you may be wondering, trying so hard to figure it out. Uh, but um, finally, I've learned something uh, really important to really let it flow from the heart. Take it step by step. Take that one first step. What does your, where does your heart guide you now? What will bring me joy today? That spark of passion, flow with that. And then the next step will just magically appear, uh, it seems, you know. Uh, if you try to move everything at once or think it out beforehand, not working. That's a, I'm a Virgo, uh, so I like to plan and organize, but uh, have, you know, having to let that go, flow with it. Uh, so that's also, if you're someone uh, waiting for the right circumstances for everything to be right the right timing the right now everything's going to be exactly right for me to start this maybe you want to be starting your own company you know working with the spiritual matters uh, do you think you have to wait until this and this don't don't wait uh, just take that first step today. And that's also really showing your intention to the universe. Uh, so that's one message for today. I also actually want to celebrate Tim a little bit in the celebration video. Uh, give a shout out back to you, Tim. Thank you so much. Uh, many of you who found this channel and this video will know Tim Wilde. Uh, you may very well have found me through him or uh, through one of the videos, the interviews that I've done with him here on this channel. And um, unlike myself, Tim has been on his ascension pathway for a long time, for many years, and he has been guiding so many souls uh, on their way, and me being one of them. And I'm incredibly grateful to Tim for this support, uh, because it can be when it's an intense awakening. It's been less than four years since I woke up spiritually. And um, if it's intense, uh, it can be uh, quite tough um, going through it, but it can be soft and smooth as well. Just suddenly, just everything opens up and uh, you just flow into your place. But um, for me, it's been quite a struggle and having someone like Tim to, to kind of lean on uh, is invaluable. Um, so I know he doesn't do private one-on-one -on -one sessions anymore, but um, he does frequent online workshops that are wonderful uh, on his own and in cooperation with others. And I really recommend them if you haven't tried them out. And his website is timwild.com. And I'm going to put the link in the description on this video too. And he also does the weekly videos, um, Facebook, YouTube. So to where you, with guidance and meditations that are fabulous support. I think Tim has a way of explaining things and talking about things that actually can be quite complicated, could be hard to understand, but he makes it sound easy. You know, he makes it easy to understand. And um, that's the hardest thing to talk about something complicated. But that's the final step of a good teacher to explain difficult things in an easy way, right? 
And he, Tim has such a soft and gentle approach, um, very down to earth and practical. And he does call his method practical ascension. And Tim has a very clear perception on what's going on energy wise, globally, and I was gonna say cosmically as well, but globally for the whole planet. And um, he has such a huge box of tools, you know, this amazing toolbox with uh, very powerful, wonderful uh, ascension tools, spiritual tools to, to work with that he teaches others how to, how to use and work with. To assist yourself, um, the collective, the whole planet in the ascension process that we're going through on our way to the new golden era of, of Earth right now. And uh, then he has, very, I'm holding one of the crystals I, I got from him. He has very powerful crystals on his website too. So check that out. So like myself, Tim works with the angelic realms and the ascended masters, and in particular, the Atlantean ones, Atlantis. And um, he writes the most divine, really beautiful and powerful meditations and visualizations and decrees as well. So. Um, and I also write meditations and visualizations. Um, when I first met him, so that was less than four years ago, and I was a total ascension newbie. I mean, it was weeks since I started to wake up. Uh, I could never, ever have imagined that I would be guiding, teaching, helping others on their ascension pathway uh, just a few years down the line, um, you know, like Tim was helping me back then. And now here I am just stepping out there in the world with my new business, uh, starting to work officially as an ascension guide myself. So really taking on my main mission of this lifetime. So I do offer <clears throat> individual fun on one sessions and also workshops. I don't have a website yet, it's that new, uh, but, um, I do offer the, the sessions and for now you can find me, you can find contact info on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page. It's also called Ascension with Louisa. Um, and I do have a wonderful group online community on Facebook called 55 Steps to the Light. So that's the former name of this channel too. And that's taken from uh, Tim, Tim's and Diana Cooper's. Uh, first book, The Archangel Guide to Ascension, 55 Steps to the Light, uh, was my main guide, you know, my go-to when I was, when I started to wake up. Uh, so in the video where Tim mentioned me earlier this week, he presented a meditation where he, um, we connect in with the seven intergalactic suns of our universe to boost our own light levels. And uh, if you're interested in working more with them, you can find that on his website, more info on it. He's done a workshop on that previously that you can still get the recording for that. Um, and of course, go listen to his video from, uh, from this week, the Seven Suns. Um, and myself, I have a very strong connection to the sun, to our sun, uh, to the uh, great you know, the central sun, to the temple of the sun, and the cosmic energies. I am a very strong conductor and anchor point for these energies. So I thought I would share with you today a short meditation to boost and balance your light levels and your energy uh, to really let you bask in the sunlight and the starlight for a while. Um, <clears throat> so um, when we start on <clears throat> this pathway, and we start waking up, <clears throat> excuse me, spiritually, you know, little by little, we start remembering, we start, um, we, we get given back uh, tools or gifts and tools that we have from previous master lifetimes. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Still clearing my voice, right? Yeah. I might need to pause a little and I'll come back. Yeah resuming the recording. So that's how it goes, finding my voice, right? Uh, so I was talking about when you wake up spiritually 
And I think also what I really needed to say there is that um, I do specialize in ascension for newbies. I was forgetting to say that. So for those of you who are just waking up spiritually and taking your first steps on your onto your ascension pathways, uh, so that's something I was supposed to mention. I, I do uh, offer guidance to you uh, in my sessions, my one to one one on one sessions. Since I've just experienced it myself, I can really relate to all the questions. Uh, you know the challenges that that inevitably come with this truly beautiful and amazing process, transformative process when we wake up spiritually. So, uh, and little by little we start to remember, we start to get given our tools back. And um, one of the tools that I am using uh, in my sessions is called the Great Refractor. And it's a tool that I work with myself in Golden Atlantis. Um, so I think that's a very cool part of awakening to our true selves, to our gifts, our missions here on earth now, um, to reclaim our wisdom, and our, all of these tools from our previous master lifetimes. So in this meditation that I will guide you through in a minute, um, you will experience a short version of this tool. I'm using it, but in my, it, I use it much uh, longer, bigger, and so on in, in, a, in a whole session. Um, but you may know that there were 12 main temples of Atlantis, uh, but there were also countless others, many other temples, sub-temples. And in this meditation, I will take you to a temple called the Temple of a Thousand Stars. That's the, the name that I got for it. <clears throat> and it combined tools, technology, and wisdom from the main temples, Temple of the Sun, and the Temple of the One True Light. So if you're ready, let's move into meditation. Get this boost of sunlight and starlight. So close your eyes and breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. Once again, and through your nose and out through your mouth. And you find yourself standing now on the shores of Atlantis during the golden years. You can hear waves softly moving in and out on the shore behind you, slowing and stabilizing your breath. You can move, you can breathe with the movement of the waves. Stay roll in, breathe in, so roll, they roll out, breathe out. And your heart fills with joy and light being back in this wondrous place in this magical time. And you start to walk along a path now, up through grass and flowers, towards the shiny white dome-shaped temple. You can see a little bit further up from the shoreline. The sun shines strongly and brightly. And the light emanating from the temple is so pure and vibrant. You can feel it washing through your bodies and fields, raising your own vibration, clearing and balancing you, your bodies and your fields. Feel the light washing through your physical body now. Relaxing softening and lighting it up completely. And feel it moving through your emotional body. Balancing, calming and lighting it up completely. And now feel the light emanating from the temple moving through your mental body, calming your mind and your thoughts, lighting your mental body up completely. And 
And now finally feel the light of the temple washing all the way out through your spiritual body, your aura, your fields, lighting them up completely. As you come closer to the temple now, you see two figures waiting. They're smiling to greet you. These are Ascended Masters Ra, High Priest of the Temple of the Sun, and Electra, Priestess of the Cosmic Rays at the Temple of the One True Light. They welcome you to the Temple of a Thousand Stars. Electra speaks to you, smiling and lovingly. We know that life on Earth is not easy. We see your struggle, your hard work, your perseverance. We congratulate you for reaching so far, clearing, releasing so much. You're do doing so well, growing so quickly, shining so brightly, yet you often fail to see your progress. We encourage you to see all that you are instead of that which you feel you are not. You're here today to receive a loving, sparkling starlight boost to accelerate your progress on your ascension path. You follow Ra and Electra into the temple area, enter the main building. Two masters lead you to the center of this healing chamber. And from the soft light reflected by crystals and by metal in panels all across the ceiling of this dome, you realize how spacious it is. Ra and Electra step back, but they remain in the room to hold this space with you and hold ground for you for this starlight transmission. Before it begins, they encourage you to feel into your earth star chakra beneath your feet now. Feel your roots of light grow deep, connecting you first with the land itself, with the roots of the plants. Feel your roots merge with them. Now feel your roots connecting with the metals and the crystals of the earth. They will help ground the energies in for you through this transmission. Which metals and crystals can you feel? Take a few deep breaths while this connection strengthens and stabilizes. And now you're ready. You look up to the very center of the ceiling high up above you, where soft sunlight is shining in from the outside. With every breath that you take, the light coming in from above starts to grow brighter and brighter. It's reflected in all the panels in the ceiling around you and they all amplify the light and send it straight to you. The rays that are coming in are reflected and refracted back to you from all different angles, all different rays of light. And it is like the sun is shining on you from every direction, lighting you up. So feel the love, feel the warmth, feel the power. And now with our sun as a transmitter, the light starts coming in 
from multiple sources. You start to recognize the vibration of light from other stars, other suns that you hold connections to. So feel into this for a little while, which stars, which suns are connecting in with you now to boost your energy levels, reactivate you and raise your vibration with the light codes that they carry. This may be stars or constellations that you recognize the name for, like Andromeda, Arcturus, Pleiades, Sirius, Lyra, Vesta and Helios, our great central suns. It may also be stars and suns whose names are unfamiliar to you. So just breathe in this starlight deeply into all of your being. And as the light continues to amplify, you feel yourself lift off from the ground and start to float freely in the air above the floor. And as you do so, the floor lowers and you find yourself completely surrounded by a fully circular dome with panels now reflecting the rays of the sun and the stars also from beneath you. With every breath, the light from more stars is added until you are lit up from every angle around you by the light of a thousand stars. Any extra energy, light that you cannot take into yourself, to your own body, remember that it goes into the ground. Feel those metal roots, those roots connecting in with the earth, the crystals, the metals, all the way down to the core of the plant. Just let it flow in, light you up, and continue to flow through you. So you're starting, you're shining now so brightly. And the light that you reflect back out, that you shine back out, is also once again reflected in those panels. So your own light is also reflected back at you, refracted. So feel this. You're being showered with light, love, and joy from every direction. It's a sparkling firework of light, all the rays of the rainbow, filling every last part of you, boosting, balancing, lighting you up fully and completely. Relax and let yourself become revitalized by this beautiful celebration of light. It's touching every part of you, focusing especially on any part of your body or any chakra 
in need of a boost at this time. So feel the immense love that the stars hold for you and rest in this blissful feeling now for a little while. And when you feel fully healed, fully balanced, refueled, so sparkly, the light around you starts to dim softly and slowly. A little bit with each breath. back to your own light, your own very shining self. More and more until finally you find yourself once again standing on the floor in the middle of this healing dome. And once again, there's the soft sunlight shining on you from above. And Ra and Electra approach you and you thank them and all the stars for this gift today. The two masters accompany you out from the dome and walk with you on the path leading back towards the shore. And as you walk, one or both of them may have a message or a gift for you now for the next step of your ascension pathway. So listen and receive. As you keep walking with them, you reach the shore. You thank Ryan Electra once again for their assistance today, and they welcome you back anytime you want. They remind you that you hold within you the love and light of a thousand stars. Go out into the world and shine brighter than ever before. And now you start to focus once again on the waves moving in and out to shore. And let your breath start to follow the sound of the waves. So breathe in deeply as the waves roll in. And out as they move out into the sea. Keep doing this. As you start coming back to here and now. Focusing on your breath. You can start to move fingers and toes and coming back fully into your body. And when you're ready, open your eyes. So I hope you enjoyed the meditation. And once again, thank you for celebrating with me and thanks for listening today uh, hope to see you soon again lots of love lots of light namaste <laughs>